This little wonder that I'm holding in my hands at the moment is a Cinemore filter from vidatlantic.com. Uh, this is the 58mm version. It does have its uh, drawbacks and problems, that sort of thing, but it is an absolutely brilliant piece of kit. You can buy the 58mm one for $99 and the 77mm filter for $109 and they are an absolutely fantastic piece of kit because they allow your DSLRs to film what looks like a beautiful anamorphic um, piece of film. Now what it does is it changes the light, the way that the light enters the camera and it makes uh, the background light into a more oval shape because it takes in the light in an oval shape and it also has a little um, thread down the middle which allows you to um, allows you to see a lens flare coming from it. So you've got a very, very nice piece of kit which um, alters what the way that the light goes in and uh, basically looks absolutely beautiful. I'm going to show you some examples in a moment. Uh, there are some problems with this lens and I'll go into them now. My main issue with the Cinemore filter is that it doesn't go um, through the whole screen, that sort of thing. Um, when um, you rotate it, that sort of thing, and move the light around on it, you get a line in the center of the screen and your flare doesn't expand throughout the whole of um, creation as it were. It's stuck in um, a sort of position which, which does move around with the light a little bit, that sort of thing, but it doesn't look absolutely beautiful. However, there is a way to correct this. Okay, what I'm doing is I'm slowly raising the torch um, pointed at the lens and as you can probably see, it's... Um, the flare is actually on the whole of the screen at the moment and what I did to achieve this effect using the filter was I simply got a step up ring and I attached the 58mm diameter um, Cinemore filter to a 52mm lens so I'm currently viewing this through the Canon 50mm uh, now as you see it goes off the screen and it's absolutely perfect it looks absolutely brilliant when um, it's being used with a smaller lens so it's definitely worth investing in a step up or step down ring that sort of thing at some point um, this currently takes uh, my 52 uh, millimeter lens to uh, a 58 millimeter diameter which means that it's absolutely perfect for this Cinemore filter and it really gets the best out of the filter that you can get with the beautiful flare and um, everything's working absolutely fantastically. Just a quick test with my little LED torch and you can see very very clearly that all of the different lights are beautifully displaced outwards from the lens depending on how the anamorphic lens works at the given time. As you can probably see um, you've got a very very faint oval around the outside of it um, which is caused by the oval light coming in at that angle. And to get the final cinematic effect, you just add some little lines in post and it makes the film look really, really good. All in all, I'd say that this is a really, really good piece of kit that's well worth investing in. However, if you don't have the money, I do have some other videos which will teach you how to get similar sort of effects so you don't end up having to fork out quite as much on something like this. However, if you can afford it, it is definitely, definitely one thing to buy. So, yeah. Anyway, if you found this uh, review uh, helpful in any way, feel free to subscribe, that sort of thing. I hope to be making some more videos soon. Bye!